Okay, let's do this. All right, so what am I doing right now? Uh, we're in our scene, and I'm just going to review beveling one more time, okay? So as you can see, this piece here, um, let's say the roof truss here. I'm like, okay, it's not perfect, but the, the what I'm trying to show you here is basically you can always do things like this. So your scene doesn't look too manufactured, machined, okay? Since we're working on a period piece, our goal is to make it, make some of the elements irregular not perfect okay so this is just a kind of review here all right so if I grab this front uh, roof truss here okay a couple things I can do I'm gonna grab these two right now press forward slash or question mark everything is hidden right so I can come in here and I go right click set origin to geometry right click on this one set origin right here to mass boom okay so I'm going to zoom in. First of all, I'm going to kind of rotate the two parts just in case if you've done it this way. I don't know. Tab in. I'm going to go to three for face and I'm just going to kind of stay like this, right? Stay in the orthographic view right here and press R. So I'm just going to R and go like that. So if I was in x-ray mode or as you know, I call it Superman mode, that would be good, right? See? That is okay. All right. Tab out. I'll go in this one now, tab in. Let me just show you what it looks like. And I press tab, go to face, select the face, go to ortho view, which is the green orthographic single view. Go to x-ray mode, which is Superman mode, R, boom, like that, okay? So what I could do is I could actually move it. I could do all these things here. Okay, I'm not saying you need to do that. Um, I can take all my verts like this, move them up. I can take these ones, move them up. Again, I'm just making this up right now because I'm not looking at the structure. So again, this is the goal of where we want to go, okay? We want to go somewhere like that. It's not perfect. It's okay. Good enough. Tap. Next. Okay. So as you can see, there are no bevels here, okay? So here's where the review comes in. And then um, first off over here, if I press N for numeric input, you can see the scale is all over the map, right? So the, before I start making, uh, adding bevel, I would like that scale to be 1, 1, 1. It's quite simple. Control A, if it works. So Control A, and just go to scale and just watch this when I do this. Control A, scale. So it's freeze transforms. Other apps call it Control A. So we're applying the transforms here, which is the scale, and it's 1. Now if I come in here and I tab, and I'm just going to pick edges. I'm not going to do the whole thing, okay? So you got to take your time. You don't want all the bevels to look the same, okay? So I'm going to go to edge mode. I'm going to grab here one edge, hold shift, left click, left click, left click. Okay, so there's one right here. So now I can go to bevel. And of course, there's hotkeys for that. Just a little ding like that. And if I want, I can open this up and add one more segment in there. Boom, like that. See? Nice. Tab out. I could have selected both of these. The beauty of Blender, I don't have to connect anything. I can go tab. Now that that's done, I can come in here. I can grab this edge. One, two, three, four. And I can just, just slightly do it. Sometimes what you want to do is pay attention to these widths. Okay. And then either go above or below it, like less than or greater than. Okay. So I'll go there. Now I'll hold shift three and four and I'll bevel here just to touch even without doing anything you're going to see the advantage of this uh, light bounces and you have shades of color when there's bevel otherwise it's just two colors left and right so two surfaces one two the minute you bevel it you have opportunities for shading that that uh, ambient lighting and so forth like the shadow of the color so again without adding too much here so that looks already better see like that so I look out here it is place forward so this you know like so if I wanted to do that right now that would have been done of course it's way off doesn't matter that's not my goal of this lesson so I'll show you what I did here okay so I went in here with the post did exactly that okay so you see now they're not the same on all sides see I didn't even have to do that side I just did here okay there it is. Bring it in. Okay, so you got to take your time. I'm going to come over here. This is the front piece of the door. I only bevel this part. Notice the scale is 1, 1, 1. How did I do it? Control A. Forward slash again. And then I grab these four boards. 
And I did them individually, of course, and I'm just going to go like this for a second, one second. I'm going to add, am I in shift? Yes, I am. I'm bring just the doors out, okay? One, so you'll see now, okay? And I'm just going to hide everything else, okay? All right, watch this, okay? So you see in here, just a little bevel. Everything has a small bevel, okay? Irregularities and so on. Forward slash there. Now, okay. Now I don't have any lights in the system, so you're not going to see anything. I'm just in color mode, all right? So I'd like you to think about making, uh, aging the pieces. So you can see I'll do this beam right here, the, the post. Watch this. Check here. Oh, I need this. That's why I have numeric input. N, N, T, N, T, I told you guys. T, N. N is numeric input. Control A, press. Uh, let's see, where's my control A? Sometimes my hotkeys work. Okay, scale. All right, we're ready now. I'm in my corner here, right? Tab in. Just grab the one edge at one time. There you go. Just a little ding. Boom, done. So this is 0 0.09, right? Okay. Go over here. Tiny bit. And look in here. Not the same number. Excellent. Okay. We like that. And one more over here. Just like that. And just knock that in place. 0.7. So none of these are the same. Okay. What I'll do is I'll add a loop cut here. Just somewhere. Left click and move it. One more. Boom. Like that. Okay. And I come out. Move. I'm going to grab one of these edges. Right here. And I can just go just a little indentation out. Okay. Then I can go to vertex, a couple of these pieces, okay, in, and then maybe push it inwards like that. So there's a little ding there, see? I can grab this one, in, see, nothing's too perfect. All right, tab, I'll do one more, the cornerstone. All right, here we go. Our foundation is being built on this cornerstone. Looking over, oops. Control A, I need to do Control A, and then go to Scale, Tab in, grab. Uh, the, now I'm going to make it with a face. Okay, that this is kind of like you could do it this way. You can grab faces and just do it with a face too. And again, avoid the temptation of making the whole thing like that. Take your time, make it look irregular. What I'm trying to say is, don't try to watch this. Control Z. This is what most of you will do, right? You'll go like this. You go A. Right, control Z a bit. I go A. All this selected. Right, here you go, Mr. Ballin. Done. Sure, you can do that. Right, but look how everything's even. Right, so I personally don't want to do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna go here, grab this one, just go a little hit. Okay, just a hit like that, like a pull. Okay, give it a segment. So this was 0.05, this is 0 0.06. Right. You could go in here. Oops, wrong one. I'm going to go into edges. Okay, I'm grabbing the edges, all the edges, because I press Alt left click. So now I can do something like this, right? So there you go. Things are different. Okay, and then what I'll do now for fun, I'll put a loop cut in here and get out. Move, grab this, just a little ding out. See? Just some things to make it irregular. Go in here, go my verts, grab these ones, go in more and in, in two directions, okay? All right, so now I'll go into the edge loop here. Alt left click, boom, or option left click on a Mac. And we'll just hit a bevel here, just a slight, just a little bit. Hit a one. Oops, I'll, I said here, boom, two. That works, even one is fine, okay? So tab out. See, now this is looking a little more interesting than machine perfect look over here okay so there's this and then there's that see here one two here interesting not so interesting okay the goal of beveling is that so here it is one last time okay here we go i'm going to do it to this one i'm looking oh control a done scale all right let's go tab in only grab this edge and maybe uh, the back edge, whatever. They're never going to see it. But anyway, I'll just do two because I'm getting lazy. Uh, well, you know what I mean. I'm trying to cut corners here. And just go, boom, number two, come out. 
Okay, I'm going to grab this one and I'm going to make it a little more. See, a little more. Boom. Go on the other one. And you don't always have to have a, a segment in there. Like you see how it has segments? You don't have to always have it. Just leave it as is if you want. That works. See? Tab out. So, I personally would duplicate these pieces first before doing them. I'm going to undo all of this because I, I think I have another one somewhere. Okay, so now I'll do one more thing. Tab. Uh, get out of bevel. Go to loop cut. I said, come on. Somewhere down here. Somewhere over here. Okay. There, if you want one more, you do it. If you want, you don't, you don't. Okay, so boom. I'm just going to go here, grab this, and just kind of pull out a bit. See? All right. Pull out just a touch. Just so that things don't look perfect. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get at here. I'll go to vertices. I'll grab these ones, and I'll just pull them over and in just like that okay so this will be a class where you will be picking pieces here tab uh, I'm looking at this oops before I get into edit mode I better control a it boom and I know here it goes watch people are gonna do it like this fine that's fine you want to do it all in one shot go for it but you are not you know it's gonna be all perfectly even again we're trying to avoid even and I'm trying to avoid saying even Steven too. So there you go. Bump, grab these, a little push. And then I'll go in here, do something else. Okay. I'd like you to kind of work on these pieces, add a little more information. Okay. And I did that to my entrance. You can see. Boom. So you see everything is kind of done here. I haven't gotten to the top here because. I just tangled myself here. <laughs> okay, so this is the door. Here is the entranceway. I did the same thing in here just for fun. Personally, don't like this, but it's not bad. Later on, when we put color, it's going to look pretty decent, okay? So you can see I'm trying to make things irregular, not perfect, not machined. All right, that's our goal right now. Today's class, whenever you watch this, that's all you're doing for one class, cleaning things up, adding details, little dents and so forth okay irregularities that's what i'm talking about all right value it out thank you